Hello and good afternoon, I'm Neil Pinkett, the proprietor of Bath Cars and today's car is the BMW. This is a 318 uh, SE automatic uh, four-door saloon car with black leather, alloy wheels, front fogs and it's a 1999 V registration. Uh, it has been on a private plate for some time and is the subject uh, of a currently of a private plate transfer but that's the number plate it's going to end up with at the end of it. Uh, the spares were in the boot so they've been put on already. Um, so yes, uh, nice drive, drives very well actually, uh, 150, I think it's 150 brake horsepower these, either 125 or 150 bhp, and they're a 1.9, so 1895cc, uh, power steering, air con, uh, uh, airbags, <laughs> usual thing, sorry I'm uh, sort of stuttering on the spec, but um, yeah, I uh, saw this, it's a part exchange car, a main dealer, uh, there's a little bit of uh, rust just creeping in on the rear wheel arch there. Could do some treatment, uh, but um, it's not going to be an expensive car. A nice little auto for somebody. It is showing as taxed as well till the end of the tenth. Uh, sorry, the end of the ninth month. Uh, although we don't have the tax disc, but it's currently showing on the DVLA as being licensed and taxed. Uh, but we can tax it for you at the local post office. No trouble at all with that. And it's a pretty straight car actually. This side's. Uh, not too bad. There's a scratch which is spotted there, which is on the door, and uh, there's a light um, crease to the wheel arch here, which probably could tap out quite easily with a, a skilled guy who does all the dent removals. Uh, the windscreen looks in pretty good order, so the lenses, and uh, as I say, it's a V-Reg 1999 car. Colour coordinated wing mirrors, and uh, electric windows in the front, manual ones in the rear. Okay, let's uh, just have a go and have a look at the service history at the moment. Oh, welcome to the uh, documents then we've got for this uh, BMW. Um, all right, as I said to you, the car is uh, undergoing a cherished registration uh, transfer from K555LAL over to the V registration number, which is V158GUP. But that's uh, a photocopy of what was the previous uh, plate on it. Uh, so it shows it's a 318 SE Auto, 1895cc, silver in colour, and uh, I haven't got how many owners the cars have, but it was owned by a chap in uh, Bristol for, ooh, blimey, a good eight years, isn't it, or six years? Uh, hang on, four plus three, seven, seven years, somewhere in the middle there. So we've got um, a, uh, an MOT, which is valid until, did I tell you what that was? Uh, September the 19th 2013 and there is a service book and the owner's manuals are in the glove compartment as you'll see and the service book shows that it's got BMW history at 13, 30,000, 48,000 that was uh, voided and then uh, 67k, 77 Western Garage in Bath at uh, uh, 2008 hasn't given a uh, mileage and uh, 91,000 there so that would have been about 80 odd uh, no mileage written in there, uh, 28th of September, no mileage written in there, but uh, obviously you can contact those garages, there's a telephone number there to contact them, but um, September 20, 28th, it should have probably had, I would have thought about 95,000 miles in it by the looks of it, it was 91 in 2009, say 100, and 106 in September 2012. Um, yes, yeah, about uh, maybe 102 or so. But um, is there anything else? I think I saw a few other stamps in the back here. Let's just run through. It doesn't really make a lot of odds when it gets to this sort of age, but uh, nice to see it. No, that's about it. Okay, so uh, there's a good, I think, 12, 13 stamps. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 stamps. 10 stamps in the book. Okay, and we have just the one key, I'm afraid. There is just one key, but uh, you can pick up spares on eBay, etc. Okay, back to the car. Okay, in the boot space here, we've got uh, the usual BMW toolkit. Let's just see what's in here a moment, because uh, normally it's all missing. Oh, no, there we are, the pla uh, spanner, pliers, wheel brace, and locking wheel nut. So that's all there. And there's a warning triangle in there as well. Um, over here is a uh, six disc CD changer with the cartridge, that's all good. And underneath here is a spare wheel, which would be a skinny spare, I should believe. It is the yeah, skinny spare and the jack's there as well. And I had a tyre inspection in 2001, so only 12 years ago. 
Okay, so uh, high level brake light. Let's run around the tyres a moment then. So, this is a budget branded tyre and it's pretty good, it's virtually brand new. This one here, again a budget branded and that one's about 20% worn, so loads to go on that one as well. Over around this side. Yeah, a good tyre there, plenty to go. Probably about 20% again worn. And this one here is not far from needing replacement. It's about 3mm off of its wear bar, so probably 5 mil to go. So not too bad again. Um, right, let's have a look in the interior. So we've got uh, the dark sort of graphite finish in the door there, the leather seats which have been used a bit but on in bad condition, the back of the driver's seat and passenger seat are in pretty good order and uh, the floor mats or floor carpets are in pretty good order as well, as I say it's a uh, uh, manual windows in the back. This side again manual and uh, two inertia rear belts and a centre lap belt. The car does have um, or lights on warning buzzer, I put them on earlier on, the front fogs do work. It has got central locking, so press the button, closes all the doors, press the button, opens all the doors and there's a boot release as well there. I don't know if there's a spare key, it would have said in the service history, I think there isn't on this one if I'm not mistaken. Uh, right, of course a bright day today, it's the first day of summer, May the 1st, so uh, we've got some heat going on here. and. The driver's seat is showing some signs of wear, as you'd expect for a car of this age. So, um, the pedal rubbers are in pretty good order. And I've driven this car about 25 miles and it drives spot on actually. Couldn't complain about it at all. So turn the ignition key on, says it's 7,900 miles to an oil service. The engine light illuminates there. The airbag light illuminates and goes off, so does the ABS. So we'll start her up. The engine sounds perfect, to be brutally honest. The temperature gauge is sat exactly where it should do. Rev counter, odometer, all that works nicely. Centre armrest, little cubby holes. More uh, uh, little cubby holes there. There's the auto box with the Tiptronic. Electric window. Lovely smooth motion. Tinted glass. And same for the driver's side. Lovely. SRS airbag system, all that's going out as it should. Okay. Um, radio cassette player is working fine. In the glove compartment is a set of books, loads of old uh, tax discs, and uh, owner's manuals, etc. Which is nice to have. Someone's had the torch, which is a shame. In fact, I've just spotted the tax disc holder. I'm assuming it, but, uh, it won't contain. No, it won't contain the disc. The disc would have gone back to the DVLA to be changed over to the new um, registration number. Um, auto dipping rear view mirror. I don't think it's nerd, but just auto dipping rear view. I don't think it's a sensor for the auto wipers. Plenty of airbags, some in the A posts, uh, in the seats, I suspect, and up the front there. So there's probably six airbags, possibly four. Traction control on this one as well, on and off. We've got air conditioning, and it works. There's the air compressor clicking in, which is excellent news. That uh, will show that. Um, we should have nice cold air blowing through, and we have. Uh, the compressor doesn't click in, it's not got a chance of hell of working, it'll be out of gas, or the pressure sensors are down, but that's working fine. So we've got air conditioning with black leather, so that's a very nice position to be in. If we have a hot summer, there's nothing worse than having no air con and black leather, so it's a win. It's a win. Okay, uh, right, so the gear change was perfect, the Tiptronic. How many gears does it have? I think it's... Uh, probably a five-speed auto isn't it four-speed auto neutral that runs through exactly as it should and a little few marks here and there but nothing too bad at all really and that aircon is bone cold lovely right well there we go little 318 1.9 se auto with leather car ready to go for someone ah it's not ready to go because we haven't had the docks for the uh, mot and the v5 yet so they'll be coming through in the post shortly so do give me a call if that uh, if you want to take it away pretty much immediately but as i say it is showing as licensed at the moment okay thanks for watching speak to you soon bye bye